So I broke a brush cap on my Rockwell Porta Band, and I couldn't find a new one. So I had to make one. I made it out of brass and powder coat. I'll show you how I did it. So I broke the brush retainer cap for my old Rockwell Porta Band. And I can't find a new one, not even online. And online the information is very sketchy about what size thread the brush caps have. So I don't want to buy 50 of them trying to hope that one of them's right. So I extracted the brush holder. <clears throat> and I measured the threads. And I figured out that it takes a 9 16 18 thread, which is a... 9 16 fine thread, which happens to be the same thread used by a 37 degree SAE, 37 degree SAE tube fitting. Threads on there very nicely. So I bought the, this tube nut at my local auto parts store, but they didn't have a cap. So it's a it's not yet a cap. And then I bought a standard fine thread 916-18 bolt at my local hardware store. So so the mission is to turn that into a cap that fits on that that will hold the brush in so I can get my saw back up and running. But I don't want to use a lathe. If I was going to use a lathe, I'd just turn this out of brass. It'd be real easy. Um, and I'm going to do that with just some simple tools. Okay, let me review my, my tailstock setup before I start turning. It's a little hobbyist woodworker device. The 716 bolt. A nut. The head of the bolt bound up in masking tape. Another nut to space out the jaws, and that 716 bolt just fits righteous over the opening in the nut. Okay, here's my lathe set up to turn down the outside of the nut, which I'm going to do first. It looks like it's got to be Just under 11 sixteenths. Which is just about the diameter of this round uh, edge of the nut here. So <clears throat> what I got here is a 9 16 bolt taped into a socket turned by my uh, impact motor <clears throat> and it looks like a 7 16 bolt fit in the tube end of the tube nut so that's my dead center since it's a dead center I'm going to put a little lube on it just a little WD now Josh or Blondie would probably freak out uh, over this setup uh, but like I said, I don't want to use a, a lathe, and I don't think there's anything dangerous. It's just, it's just a little bit hokey. So here it goes. Machine tools are all about rigidity, and this doesn't have any, so go easy. Forgot that a file cuts when you push, so the rotation's this way, opposite of a normal lathe. So I'm gonna switch over to this side <clears throat> so that the file's cutting this way and I'm gonna flip over to the double cut side. Fits nice. Okay, parting off. They say parting is the worst part of turning. 
and there's all kinds of tools for it. And I got one here called a hacksaw blade. So I'm gonna just gingerly run it in the with the direction of the cut this time. I'm taking a guess that things gotta be about yay long. So that's where I'm gonna go. This thing grabs steel, it's gonna, it's gonna want to tear it out of my hand, so a little bit of protection. There we are. Okay, let's chamfer that edge. Piece of dirty sandpaper. <clears throat> See if he threads on. Sure does. Just clean that up a little bit. Okay, I think she wants to be a little smaller. In diameter just to make sure she doesn't touch the motor housing I'll knock a little more just knock some of the knock some of the marks off of it not a cap it's got a hole in the middle of it so that's the next step is to make it into a cap See, that's all that was, was a 13 socket, the bolt, and a bunch of masking tape. Okay, to make a cap out of it, I'm going to use the bolt again um, with, the, I, with the new cap threaded onto it. And I'm going to use this. Um, it's one of these aluminum brazing rods that you see quite a bit of. Looks like that. And I cleaned this up pretty thoroughly with acetone and a Q-tip. <clears throat> so I'm gonna apply the uh, map gas and close up the end of this. Now, this won't stick to steel. So I'm gonna just fill in this hole and then let it cool off and should be able to unthread it. So. Okay, she's cooled. And there you go. It's now a cap. So now I'm just gonna finish this outside a little bit with some sandpaper. Okay, now that it's a plug, I'm gonna cut a screwdriver slot in it 
this with my little Dremel, <coughs> little Dremel diamond wheel. Don't need much, just enough to get to, just enough to turn it. Okay, there's one more requirement. Um, this little thing, this little cap, cannot be electrically conductive. Otherwise, when you touch it from the outside of the saw, you're going to get zapped. So, what we're going to do is we're going to power coat it. So here's proof. So this is a little piece of steel and I put a little dab of powder coat on it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna measure, here I'll measure with the beeper. See, it means we got contact. So I'm gonna touch two pieces of the bare steel. Contact, now I'm gonna touch the bare steel and the powder coat. Nothing. If I measure resistance, two tenths of an ohm doesn't even recognize that it has a complete circuit. It's like having it in space. So here they are in space. So I'm going to powder coat this little rude dude. The okay, step one of the powder coating is to clean it up with some acetone. I just have an acetone soaked paper towel here. For the actual powder coating, this is what I'm using. Protec. It's made for fishing lures. So what I'm going to do is flock it. So I'm going to heat the bolt up with my heat gun. And then I'm going to dip it in the powder when it's good and hot. And then I'm gonna post cure it with the wife's old hair dryer. See that little dab melted. So now we can dip her in. And then just bang off the excess. Continue heating until it starts to flow. She's flowing. I'm going to restrike the screwdriver slot with the fork. And then cure it with the hair dryer. Now for our electrical confirmatory test. So here's our little powder coated cap. 
screw it on the brush holder. The multimeter is indicating conductivity. Not no conductivity. Check resistance. Infinity. Infinity. It, it can't even tell there's a circuit there. 0.2 ohms direct contact. So we're good. Okay, here she is back all in one piece. Blades in it. There's our brand new brush cap. <coughs> Conducting happily along. And I'm not getting a shock touching it. So it's all good. Um, this can work on any universal motor or any brushed motor. Um, if you can find a, if you, have, if you can't find a brush cap, you can make your own. Well, on to the next project. I will see you there and then.